I don't think I could be more clear about how much I like uh, Antonio Pierce. This guy, he just has changed in many ways the entire culture of the Raiders. And so he was went on Max Crosby's podcast and he discussed um, shutting down Mahomes. And he compared it to shutting down Michael Jordan, right? Remember the Pistons, or the, the Jordan rules that the Pistons had? He has the Mahomes rules. So this is what he had to say. We've got the Jordan rules and we've got what I'm calling now, for now on, as long as I'm here, the Patrick Mahomes rules. You remember when Jordan was going through it with the Pistons, all those guys in the 80s before he became Michael Jordan, Air Jordan, the Pistons used to whip his ass. Anytime he came to the hole, elbows, feeling him, love taps, we're in his head, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, I'm touching you. So I showed my guys Jordan getting his ass whooped. Um, and, then it's, and then Pierce would have to say, we got to knock off the head of the snake. 15, hate the color red. Pierce said, there's a hatred for the Chiefs. So this guy, Antonio Pierce, gets it. I mean, he just understands it. It's like, look, you're going up against Mahomes, and you always want to have respect for your, you know, the team you're playing against. You never want to root for injuries, or you never want to, you know, intentionally hurt or, you know, just intentionally cause pain to the other team. But you do want to be tough. And if you watch, you know, over the course of this season, it's like, man, there's a lot of players out there that just seem to just, they, they just don't have it. They don't have that fight sometimes, you know, that you'd like to see. In a team like the Raiders, you know, it's no, it's not a, um, you know, a s- coincidence that they fired Josh McDaniels, who, look, I, you know, who knows if he's a good coach or bad coach. He had a great, you know, run in Cleveland or in with Pitt, um, with the Patriots in New England. But, you know, as a head coach, he clearly wasn't as successful as people would want him to be. And he clearly lost a locker room. And for Antonio Pierce to come in, and he didn't just change, you know, they didn't just start winning games per se. Because I think a lot of those games could go either way, especially last season, right? A lot of those games could have gone either way. But there was just a different vibe about this team. And the Raiders, they could be good. Okay, They have talent on this roster. We got to see who they keep in free agency. But they have a lot of talent on this roster. And man, if you could become, you know, in that division, kind of this mean team, you know, we're, look, we're going to run the ball. We're going to take our shots on the field, but we're going to run the ball, take care of the ball, and play really good defense. I would love to see this. And look, you know, this will be much like Jordan, right? Jordan getting past the Jordan rules and beating them was a big chip on his legacy. And Mahomes obviously has already won, but this will maybe could be. Some you know people talk about a rival team to the Chiefs or a rival to Mahomes. You know you have the Bills and you have the Bengals and you have all, some of these teams. But in his own division, you know he's kind of been cleaning the clocks of a lot of these teams. He's been beating a lot of these teams. The Raiders may be coming right, and they beat them last year. And we'll see what they do this year. Now there's also the other side of this coin, which is you know you talk a lot of game, but then when you go out there, do you win? You know that's you got to back this up now. If you have something called the Mahomes rules, you got to be able to beat them. And so we'll see what happens. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.